Hi, I'm Cece Foster, and I'm in Los Angeles, California. And I'm Mashari Bain, and we're with Flower Goddess Productions. I Heart Hollywood is a documentary film that we as actors put together because we were tired of seeing the myths and the stereotypes that most actors have, so we wanted to create a documentary that told the truth. So while we created this documentary, we also formed Flower Goddess Productions because we knew that we were going to continue to do projects like this in the future. It really goes against what people typically think of a Hollywood actress. I mean, we're all out here, you know, hustling and bustling in Hollywood, and people really have no idea of what we really go to. It's, it's about, um, it's that process before you, you become famous, if you will. Um, so it really gives a bird's eye view into what actresses really, really go through. We, we were playing around with this for about a year or so before we came up with the idea of the documentary. Yeah, we have been talking about it for a while, and it was one of those things where, you know, when you talk about something and no one ever just really steps forward and say, okay, now we're going to do something about it. We're going to quit talking and let's do some, make some moves, some serious mm -hmm. moves. And so one day it was just obvious to us both that, you know, after – auditioning and you know you're hoping am I the right one is it for me are they going to cast me you know you just get to the point where you're like it's time to take matters into my own hands and well it's funny because all of this talk about what to do and how to you know get in the door and how to get the right projects we're just like you know what this really needs to be talked about because all you see is you either see the celebrities that have already gotten to that level mm -hmm. of success or you see, like, the person that's just at the very beginning of their career who's trying to get famous and they might do a reality show or something. Right. But you don't see the actor that's done a lot of work that's just trying to get to the next level of their career. And I also felt like it was, you know, we as actors are misrepresented oftentimes because you see all of the, you know, actors that are in it for the fame and the fortune. And we wanted to show that there's a different side of Hollywood Right. A side that's that's trying to do positive things and wants to actually do the art of acting as opposed to being mm -hmm. the limelight and mm -hmm. in, it, in it for fame. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're in it because we truly enjoy the craft. Uh, I Heart Hollywood is self-funded <laughs> and. You know, we didn't want to wait on anyone to green light us. I said, we're going to green light ourselves. OK, we, we got a little money saved up. Let's it's a risk. But, you know, I think it's going to be worth it. It's going to pay off in the end. And it was just as things started adding up and more <laughs> expenses started to accumulate. I was at one point I remember sitting down looking at my checking account. I'm like, oh, oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Honestly, <laughs> it was there were several moments when I remember I was I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I got to, you know, and it. But this is the best school. It's like yeah. we paid for an education. The best way to learn how to do something is to just do, do it. it. There was never a question in my mind when we started something. We had, I mean, when we started this project, there was so much passion for it and so much love that it's like, you know what? This came to me in a dream. This whole documentary idea. I was like, this is meant to happen. And there was no stopping me. You know, I feel like roadblocks are not a deterrent. They're just a way to, you know, make it a little bit, a little bit more difficult to get through, but it's, it's a test on how bad you really want it. Right. Because nothing is going to come easy. I was talking to Mashari's father. He's also my editor. And how was your dad? For, for I, her book. I'm a writer a as well. And, um, he's, he's an editor and what he got from it, he sent me an email and he said, you know what? I am just really proud of you ladies. You've given me hope that I could follow my dream at my age. And I just felt so touched by that. And that that's what I want people to get from it, that no matter how old you are, it's, it's never too late for you. Yeah, because I think overall the movie has a, a, a sense of um, passion mm -hmm. and not letting go of something that you that you feel like you, you were meant to do in yeah. your soul. 
you know. So I just, and I hope that people look at the entertainment industry in a different way. I hope that we gain respect as artists. Uh, I think we lost a lot of that in, in the recent years, mm-hmm. but I think that actors need to be given the respect that it is an art and an art form, and there's a reason beyond the, the money that we want to do this. We decided that we wanted to do a calendar, and we used the same women from the documentary um, to kind of uh, portray each month is like a different scenario that you may or may not see in Hollywood, but um, it's called Hollywood, the Good, the Bad, and the Funny. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples of some of the scenarios, it's like <laughs> casting couch, um, we deal with DUI, um, a lot of the stuff that's talked about when you watch those um, entertainment-based TV shows, mm-hmm. you know. So we're just kind of poking fun at um, Hollywood there, and we're giving all the proceeds to an organization called Hollywood Heart. She approached me about doing a calendar, and that was, again, the, we were thinking, well, why do we need to, you know, what are we going to do with this calendar, and how are we going to do it? And we wanted to kind of show that it's like our way of giving back. You don't have to be rich and famous before you're able to to do something good for the the world. You can do it while you're on your way up. What can I do as a person to do something like, you know, I don't have a lot of money right now. What can I do that would really be good for someone else? And when she had the calendar idea, the reason I wanted to give all of it to charity is because I didn't want people to think we're benefiting from it monetarily. It was our way of just saying, you know, we're doing this as a gift. You know, we were already actors. We know our success is coming. This is just a way to give to others that actually that need it more than we do. Because originally we were going to do it on a global level. We were looking at um, different organizations that gave internationally because we're like, we're changing the world. We're going to do right. this. <laughs> But we ended up seeing a lot of resistance from the charities because they're like, what do you want to do? Who are you? What do you want? Yeah. And there was a lot of legalities involved. Mm. So our director and also our, our co-producer were saying that it would be better to give to a local organization because that way you can work with them. They can meet you. They can see your product right. and they won't have any hesitation. So and the money would mean much more to them because they're so they're much smaller. smaller. We were really interested in them too because they're an organization that gives back to youth that are underprivileged and youth that have been infected and affected with HIV and AIDS. They have a few different programs that they have, and one of their programs is they teach youth about the movie industry. Yeah. So we're like, what could be better than that? They're in Los Angeles, they're youth, and they, they want to learn about the movie industry. This is perfect exactly. for us as a production company to give to them. I would like people to know that anything is possible. Um, again, we were, we're first-time filmmakers. Um, we completed a project. It's beautiful. We've been getting <laughs> great reviews, and I can't wait for it to be aired. Um, so my whole thing is about having just being fearless because a lot of times we let fear paralyze us because we're like, oh, my God, what's going to happen next? I, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. It's just like just start it mm-hmm. and keep going. The universe will find people for you and place them in your life to help you do what you're trying to do. But you just have to tell the universe, this is what I'm trying to do. What I would say is when you have a dream, when you have a vision, anything is possible. Again, not having a background in film, we had no idea how we were going to do this. We had absolutely no idea. But where there's a will, there's a way.